Ashley Webster, Todd Schoenberger. They're here with me to talk to some of today's stories. Let's kick it off with a good one like Uber's search for a public relations honcho. The yeah. company's seeking a political powerhouse to run its PR strategy. And none other than former White House press secretary Jay Carney is reportedly in the room. Brilliant. Running. Genius. Brilliant. He really? can say, I don't know, or I'm not prepared to talk about that as much as he wants. He's got all the practice in the world from doing that. Hey, the, the word was that he was going to actually try to step in into the governor's uh, place in Delaware. But then uh. Bo Biden, Joe's son, decided he's going to run. You know, there's so. some talk also, Ashley, that uh, Jay Carney might be making a move to Apple. Just talk of it, mm. but Apple might. You know what? He's getting some good gigs kicked uh, around yeah, here, isn't yeah. he? No matter what happens, if things go badly, he can always blame the Bush and administration. These companies, <laughs> <laughs> they want you know. that connection to the White House. All right, let's talk sports. A slew of sports stars and uh, celebrities, from Tiger Woods to Michael Jordan's to uh, to Jay Z, are tipping their hats to Derek Jeter of the New York Yankees, who is now retiring at the end of the 2014 season. Nike's Jordan brand is launching a star-studded ad campaign in tribute to the Yankees. Yankees captain. It is called Respect. And I'm sure you guys have probably seen it. Yep. Yeah. It's, um, we're, we're watching it's fantastic. it. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's known for the tip of the hat. It's a very, it's a very touching. The captain tribute. is wonderful. He, he's a great ambassador, not just for the Yankees, but also for all baseball. This is well deserved. I saw uh, 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 Mayor Giuliani uh, uh, just uh, a little sneak at him in there as well. You know, it, it, it's respect is the word. He has tremendous respect around the, even in Boston. And yeah. even though he's a Yankee, they will tip the hat to, to uh, 40 Derek years Gita. old, do you think it was time? Derek for Jared Cheater, oh, I can't that. make that decision. Only yeah. he can make that decision. But the best part is, is that you know he's going to stick with it. All yep. right. And could Google Glass style headgear spell an end to flight delays and cancellations? Can we hope? Israeli defense <laughs> company Elbit Systems is launching futuristic looking goggles at the Farnborough International Air Show this Umbra, week. Yeah. They use 3D protection technology and they're designed to allow pilots to see clearly in less than ideal visibility conditions. Can you say fog and take off? without heading to, uh, you know, having to wait for weather I'd be a little through. disconcerted because they look like ski goggles. If I see my pilot getting on wearing <laughs> ski goggles, so I'd be just, just a little just, concerned. You'd just rather wait. If there's fog, let's just wait it out. You don't want any technology well, to improve the... Uh, you know, it's a, obviously it's a I want to take off, but, I'm, you know, I'll see. I don't want my pilot wearing anything except eyeglasses. So huh? why? So what's the big deal? And But bottom line is, isn't the plane supposed to fly itself now? Isn't that where the technology is? Uh, yes. Yeah. But uh, the landing takes a pilot, mm, okay. the takeoff takes a pilot, mm -hmm. and you not, need to be able to see for that, Todd. Need to break it to you. <laughs> In other words, we don't need pilots, is Ashley what you're saying. Ashley and Todd, thank you. Coming up, Jan.